Now, uh, the, the reason equilibrium solutions are so important is because they um, have to do with the asymptotic behavior of solutions. Um, so here is an example. So the, the question here is not to solve the differential equation, but rather to um, to tell um, about um, what the limit of solutions is when t approaches infinity, or rather what the behavior is when t approaches infinity. Well, now notice that, well, if you kind of look at the arrows, then the according to the arrows, it looks like this. So what what we see is that um, there is an equilibrium solution, and all other solutions they approach the equilibrium. So the equilibrium solution can be found analytically. So the fact that it is precisely 4.9, we can find it uh, directly from the differential equation. But to see that all other solutions, they approach the equilibrium, so that is due to the picture. So because we uh, uh, stare at the direction field and we just see it. And so here is one more example. So what is the behavior of solutions as t approaches infinity? And so first, in order to figure it out, first we need to find equilibrium solutions. Then uh, let me maybe try to sketch the direction field. Um, so if here we have t and y, then notice that when y equals 1 and when y equals 2, so here y equals 1 and here y equals 2, we have equilibrium solutions. Now, if y is bigger than 2, if y is bigger than 2, then the right-hand side um, of our differential equation is the product of two numbers, y minus 1 and y minus 2, but both of them, if y is bigger than 2, both of them are positive. So it's a product of two positive numbers. So therefore, the right-hand side is going to be positive, and a positive right-hand side of a differential equation means that the arrow points upwards. So the arrow looks like this. But then, if y is between 1 and 2, it means that y minus 2 is negative, but y minus 1 is positive. So the right-hand side of the differential equation is going to be negative, and the arrow is going to point well, to the right and downward. Well, and by the same logic, it's going to be here. So it means that... I think it's pretty clear, from even from this sketch, that solutions are going to approach um, whenever the initial point is below 2, then solutions are going to ap approach 1. If it is above 2, then it's going to uh, go to infinity. And here is the um, more precise um, direction field of this differential equation. And you see that it is indeed true. So whenever um, our initial point of our solution is here, then it approaches 1, or here is also approaching 1. But if it is above 2, then it's going to go to infinity. Alright, so therefore the answer is like this. If y of 0 is less than 2, then the limit of y of t is 1. If y of 0 is 2, then y of 2 is just constant 2. But if y of 0 is bigger than 2, then the limit of y of t is infinity.